الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه الحمد لله الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى الحمد لله الذي أستعينه وأستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في أول كلامنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في أوسط كلامنا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في آخر كلامنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة تنجيكم من عذاب أليم تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون يغفر لكم ذنوبكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ومساكن طيبة في جنات عدن ذلك الفوز العظيم وأخرى تحبونها نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الكيس من نان نفسه وعمل لما بعد الموت والعاجز من أتبع نفسه هواه وتمنى على الله أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رواه الترمذي رب الشرح لي سدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم Respected brothers and elders Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us life one time This life is one time This will not come again The kuffar, the non-believers used to say Hay hata hay hata lima tu'adun In hiya illa hayatuna dunya namutu wa nahya Wa ma nahnu bi mab'uthin They used to say enjoy your life Why? Because this is the only life that Allah has given you. After you die, namutu wa nahya, you will not get up again, you will not rise up again, you will not be called again by Allah. You finish, you enjoy this life, and this is the real game, this is the real pleasure. Wa ma nahnu bi mab'uthin. We will not be resurrected. There is no resurrection. There is no resurrection. There is no day of judgment. al haqqa what is reality? Mal haqqa. Do you know what is reality? Wa ma adraka. Mal haqqa. Have you ever pondered once in your life, stopped from your busy schedule that you are doing? Did you stop for a minute? That what is haqiqat? What is reality? My brothers and elders, when we read a book, you know the first page and the, and the first ten pages, it talks about the four words of the author. That what is he going to talk about? He doesn't talk about the the, the the subject right away but he talks about four words likewise Allah SWT, he, he recites in the surah كَأَنَّهُمْ <laughs> أَعْجَازُ نَخْلٍ قَابِيَا Now there's a question coming. فَهَلْ تَرَى لَهُمْ مِنْ بَاقِيَا وَجَاءَ فِرْعَوْنْ وَمَنْ قَبْلَهُ وَالْمُؤْتَفِكَاتُ بِالْخَاطِئَا فَعَسَوْ رَسُولَ رَبِّهِمْ فَأَخَذَهُمْ أَخْذَةَ الرَّابِيَا إِنَّا لَمَّا طَغَ الْمَاءُ حَمَلَّاكُمْ فِي الْجَارِيَا لِنَجْعَلَهَا لَكُمْ تَذْكِرَةً وَتَعِيَهَا أُذُنٌ وَاعِيَا 
This all ayat which I've recited in Surah Haqqa, this is only the four words. This is not the subject. This is not reality. This is not haqiqat. This is kar gudari. This is the previous conditions of the previous nations that came before us. Ad came. Samud came. Fir'aun came. All of them came. And what they thought? That this life is, is forever. And this life is reality. But Allah is now telling us reality. فَإِذَا نُفِقَ فِي الصُّورِ نَفْخَةٌ وَاحِدًا فَإِذَا نُفِقَ فِي الصُّورِ نَفْخَةٌ وَاحِدًا What is reality? When the person who will blow the trumpet, Israfil alayhi salam, then he will blow the trumpet once. فَيَوْمَ إِذِنْ وَقَعَتِ الْوَاقِعَةِ And the reality that you are talking about, this reality will occur in reality. What will happen? What will happen? One shakka this sama. You will see the sky will burst into pieces. Fayauma idiu. One shakka this sama. Fayauma idiu. Wahia. Wal malaku ala arjaiha. Wa yahmilu arsha rabbika fawkahum. Yauma idin thamania. You will see the throne of Allah will come. And eight angels, eight angels will be will be holding the throne of Allah and it will come down. You will see angels coming from the sky and they will be in rows like we are sitting in sof. We are sitting in rows. The angels will come. Allah will bring Jahannam. Allah will bring the Jannah. Allah will Allah will bring the way of scale. And for my Yamal, with Kala Darat in Khaira Yara, Woman Yamal, with Kala Darat in Sherra Yara. If you do an iota particle, an atom particle of a good deed, you will see it on the day of judgment. And if you take an iota particle, an atom particle of a bad deed, you will see it on the day of judgment. Now, what is happening here? Allah is saying, Allah SWT is saying, Well, Malaku Allah or Jaiha, Wayahmil or Sharab Bika Faubahom, Yoma Idin Thamania, Yoma Idin. This is reality. تعرضون لا تخفى منكم خافية لا تخفى منكم خافية A day will come A day will come when you cannot hide and Allah will bring you forward Allah will bring you to the court of Allah ولو ترى إذ المجرمون ناكسوا رؤوسهم عند ربهم My brothers and under this eye in Surah Sajda Allah is saying, when you will see, my brother, I just want to say one thing in the middle. Today we are very fond of watching videos on YouTube. Everyone is Googling, going Twitter, Facebook, this and social media. My brothers and elders, Allah is also, Allah SWT is also playing a video in these ayats in Surah Sajda. Allah is saying, walau tara, walau tara idil mujrimun. Did you see the oppressors? Did you see the mujrimin? Allah, what is happening to them? Na kisu, na kisu. Ru'usihim, inda rabbihim. Allah will grab them from the hairs of the of the forehead, and Allah will bring him inda rabbihim in the court of Allah. Allah will bring them from the forehead, and Allah will bring them in the court of Allah. And then, what they will say? Rabbana abusarna, Rabbana abusarna. Oh, our Rabb, we have seen now. Wa sami'na. Oh, Allah, we have listened now. Farjina, Allah, please send me back to Kentucky. Allah, please send me back to my hometown. Allah, please send me back to America. Allah will say, why? What will you do? Naamal salihan. Allah will try to do righteous deeds. Inna muqinun. I believe now, but my brothers and elders, believing on that time is too late. Believing on that time, on the day of judgment, will be too late. But believing right now will be a benefit, and this will give us. The success of this life and the hereafter, as Allah Jalla Jalal who is saying in the ayahs, "Yawma idin tu'aradun, la taqfa minkum khafiya." فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِ The person who gets the book of deeds in his right hand, فَيَقُولُ He will scream and he will say, "Ha!" He will say, "Ha!" That "Ha!" He will say on the day of judgment. It's in the Quran, Surah Haqqa. People will come and ask him, "Brother, what's wrong with you? Why are you screaming? Why are you saying 'Ha ha'?" He will say, "Iqra'u kitabiyah, Iqra'u kitabiyah. Read my book. I passed my exam. Read my book. I passed my exam. I passed my exam. I passed my test." He said, "Brother, what test are you talking about? What test?" The, the test of University of Kentucky? No, 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 no. This is not, this is not the exam of dunya. Unless he will say, 
he will say inni ghanantu anni mulaqin hisabiya indeed i was preparing for hisab and kitab i was preparing for the life of hereafter i was preparing that i had to give hisab i had to give reckoning that this life is temporary my brothers and elders each one of us sitting here has been destined to die has been destined to die we have to leave this is not to live this place is not forever mata'ul ghurur mata'ul ghurur la'ib wa lahu zinatu wa tafakhurun baynakum wa takathurun fil amwal wal awlad my brothers and elders this is illusion this is deception this is ghurur this is something we are deceiving myself i am planning ahead for 10 years 5 years 2 years 3 years and my brothers and elders my malakul maut malakul maut is behind me and he is chasing me qul innal maut today is the day of juma yawm al juma everyone knows alhamdulillah we have the masjid packed alhamdulillah brothers and elders in surah juma i want to share a ayah in surah juma allah is saying qul say to them say to the believers innal maut indeed death tafiruna minhu you run from it fa innahu mulaqikum one day it will come and catch you one day it will come and catch you i am going forward and death is chasing me from behind allah is saying you will run and run and run but the end result that death, death will come and catch you fa innahu mulaqikum yalla what will happen then thumma turadun and allah will bring you ila alim al ghaib wa al shahada towards the being who has the knowledge of the unseen and he is witnessing everything fa yunabbiukum then he will tell you bima kuntum ta'malun what you used to do in kentucky how was your morning how was your evening what you used to do my brothers and elders our body is will not witness again it will it will not it will it will not witness in my favor but it will it will it will witness against me al yawma nakhtimu al yawma nakhtimu ala afwahihim wa tukallimuna aydihim that day the tongue will not speak the hands will speak wa tashhadu arjuluhum and the legs will be a witness bima kanu yaksibun that what i used to do here my brothers and elders the ayat which i have recited allah jalla jalaluhu is saying in surah as-saff ya ayuhal ladina amanu o believers hal adullukum should i tell you a transaction should i tell you a trade should i tell you a business so allah please tell us what is the business what is the business hal hal adullukum ala tijaratin yalla what is this tijara tunjikum min adab alim the first transaction you know in business in trade when you give something when you give something you get something in return i i sell a car i get money in return likewise allah is saying the first benefit of this business this transaction that allah jalla jalaluhu will save you from the severe torture from the severe torture adab alim yalla what is the deal yalla please give us the offer what is the offer tu'minuna billah you have to believe on allah wa rasulihi on his rasul on his prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa tujahidun and you need to sacrifice you need to make mujahida bi amwalikum from your wealth wa anfusikum by yourself zalikum khairul lakum this is better for you in kuntum ta'lamun if you have knowledge Allah, okay, if I do this, what will happen to me? Allah, what, what do I get in return? What is the deal? Allah is saying, Ya ghafir lakum zunubakum. I will forgive your sins. Wa yudukhilkum. I will enter you. Fi jannatin tajri. Into a jannah, into a paradise. Tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. That you will see rivers flowing underneath it. Wa masakinu tayyibatan fi jannati adn. This is not enough, Ya Allah. This is not only jannah. Allah is saying, Wa masakinu. I will make you a palace. fi jannati adn in the middle of jannah allah is saying you saying this is this is success zalikal fawzul azim this is the real success ya allah this is all happening in the life here after about, what about dunya we are greedy about money and dollars ya allah this is what this will all happen when we die when we close our eyes what about this world this life i have to pay my mortgage i have to pay the lease of my car ya allah what about here something wa ukhra oh you, i know you love dunya wa ukhra tuhibbunaha the love you have nasrun min allah allah is saying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not saying i will give you dunya allah is saying nasrun min allah if you do all these things the help of allah will be with you la nasrun min allah wa fathun qareeb and you will get victory soon 
وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And give glad tidings to the believers. My brothers and elders, Allah Jalla Shan who has given this, this life to us one time. And how do we, how do we spend this? This is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-kayyisu Intelligent person is one. Intelligent person. Intellectual person. Wise person is one. Mandana nafsahu. Wa amila lima ba'd al mawt. He does actions for the life, for the life hereafter. He does actions for the life hereafter. He does actions that will benefit him after death. Wal ajizu. Foolish is one. Man atba'a nafsahu hawahu. Who will, who will, who will fulfill his desire? Who will do ittiba of his desire? Hawa. Allah, and he has high hopes from Allah. Yeah, oh brother, don't scare me. I'm in my 30s. Right? How can I die? I'm in my 40s. I will die in 60. I will die in 50. My brothers and elders, it comes in the hadith of Mishkat that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said close to the meaning that Malakul Maut looks at the human being, Bani Adam, five times in a day. Five times. He peeks into my life. He looks into my life. What am I doing? Am I preparing for death? Al Maut, Hazrat Ali radiyallahu anhu, Ali karam Allahu wajhu says, Al Maut, laysa minhu al fawt. Laysa minhu al fawt. Death, no one can cheat death. No one can run away from death. No one can challenge death. My brothers and elders, we need to understand this before it's too late. Before we come out of the deception, and Malakul Maut comes and take my soul away, and then I go in my grave, and the first question, Man Rabbuka, Man Rabbuka, who is your Rabb? What is your religion? Man Nabi, who is your Nabi? Who is your Prophet? And four questions on the Day of Judgment. My brothers and elders, now this is the exam, this is the season of the exam right now. People everywhere in the U.S., everywhere in, in, in the world, the students are busy in preparing for, preparing for the exam and they do not know what is in the paper, what are the questions. But we are so lucky that we know what are the questions. Man Rabbuk, three questions in grave, four questions on the day of judgment. First question, where have you spent your life? Second question, where have you spent your youth, your young age? Mashallah, many youngsters are sitting here. The young age Allah has given you the shabab. The young age, the youth, the energy Allah has given you. Allah will ask you about this. Where have you spent this young age? Third question, the knowledge I gave you. The third question, from where did you earn your living? From where did you spend your living? It means, my brother, the, the, the bank balance I have, the money I have, the dollars I have, they're not mine. They're given to me by Allah. And Allah will ask me, where did you spend this money? Fourth question, the knowledge I gave you. How much did you implement this knowledge into your actions? My brothers and elders, what we need to do? We need to make tawbah. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ All of us, we need to repent together by Allah. What are the conditions in the world? All of you, I don't have to tell you what's happening in the world. Everywhere Muslims are being oppressed. Everywhere Muslims are being let down. Everywhere Muslims are being disgraced. My brothers and elders, why they are doing this? Because we lost Iman. Because we lost the ta'alluq ma'Allah. We lost the connection with Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I will narrate to, to a hadith. Inshallah, finish my talk. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, hadith of Qudisi, Ya bana Adam, Ya bana Adam, Utulubni tajidni. Go and, O oh son of Adam, go and look for Allah. Go and search for Allah. Tajidni, you will definitely find Allah. In wajattana wajatta kulla shay. If you found Allah, you found everything. Wa in futtana, but if you lose Allah, fataka kullu shay, you have lost everything. Wa ana khayrul laka min kulli shay. It is better that you go in search of Allah. My brothers and elders, this run of dollar, this run of a degree, this run of PhD, this run of doctrine, this run of business, this run of trade is is actually taking us away from Allah. Ya yuhalladina manu, la tulhikum amwalukum, wa la awladukum, an dhikrillah. لا تلهكم. Don't get halak. Don't get destroyed by indulging in your family and your wealth by the remembrance of Allah. ومن يفعل ذلك whoever does this فأولئك هم الخاسرون. These are the people who are in total loss. My brothers and elders, what we need to do? Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. Two hadiths. Two hadiths I will inshallah share and finish my talk. One hadith Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. 
he said to the Sahaba, ask the Sahaba, what is the action? What is the action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah? The action, the amal, which is the highest in the eyes of Allah? The Sahaba replied, as-salah, as-salah. Praying five times, praying Juma, praying Fajr, Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, Tahajjud, Tarawi. Rasulullah he replied, la, la. Ahsan, that's very good, but that's not what I'm asking, la, in negative. Then again he asked, what is the action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah? The Sahaba replied, as Ramadan, fasting in the month of Ramadan. He said, Ahsan, the very good. La, this is not what I'm asking. Third time he asked, and the Sahaba said, Al-Hajj fi Baytullah, going for pilgrimage to Makkah. Ahsan, the very good. La, but this is not what I'm asking. Fourth time, one Sahabi said, Al-Jihad fi Sabilillah, striving in the path of Allah. Rasulullah said, La, 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 this is very good. But this is not what I'm asking. This is not what I'm asking. The Sahaba said, Allahu wa Rasuluhu a'lam. Allah and His Messenger, they better know what is the action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he said, the action, the action which is the highest in the eyes of Allah is to love each other for the sake of Allah. Is to love each other for the sake of Allah. Al-hubbu lillah. Al-hubbu lillah. Alhamdulillah, my brothers and sisters, I don't love him because he's from the same country as I am from. No, because he's a believer, I love him. People in Syria, people in Syria, what is happening to them? The woman, what, what, the disgrace happening to them? Because she's my sister, I love her. The people living in Burma, the people living in Palestine, the people living in Kashmir, the people living in any corner of the world, they are my brother. Inna al mu'minuna ikhwatun, the believers. Our brothers, my brothers, in the last hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu he said to Ma'ad ibn Jabal, O oh Ma'ad, should I tell you the khulasa of deen? Should I tell you the summary of deen? The conclusion of deen? Ajal ya Rasulullah, ma huwa ya Rasulullah. Rasulullah sallallahu he took out his tongue. All the brothers, look here. He took out his tongue and he grabbed the tongue from his two fingertips. He said, O oh Ma'ad, kuffa hadha. Kuffa hadha. Safeguard your tongue. This is khulasa of deen. This is summary of deen. This is conclusion of deen. Ya Rasulullah, we will go in Jahannam because of misusing our lisan, our tongue. Taqilat ki ummi ka ya ibn Jabal. O son of Jabal, the majority of Jahannamis will go in Jahannam because of misusing their lisan, their tongue. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm again saying this. The majority, the majority, the majority of Jahannamis will go in the hellfire. Because of misusing their, their tongue, their lisan. My brothers and sisters, try to put a break on your tongue. Please don't talk useless. Talking about this, that, no. Please be silent. The person who is silent, he got salvation. One hadith. My brothers and sisters, may Allah give us tawfiq to implement these talks in our life and to implement and to convey to the whole of humanity. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta. نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين